that it? <sighs> Hi, and so today for something a little bit different what I usually do, I thought I'd look at this Microbit Tinker Kit. It's for these little BBC Microbit computers and it allows you to expand them beyond the basics. I don't usually do this type of video and it's not promoted by elect freaks who make this or anything like that. I, I actually generally bought this for my child because he got this microbit for Christmas just so we can expand it with more possibilities. The reason I'm not doing one of my normal project videos is because the project I was going to work on today and finish off the video in and editing and get it uploaded tonight. Unfortunately, there was a last minute technical hit which means I've had to order something else and it's not going to go ahead for today. So I just wanted to make sure, because I haven't put out a video for nearly two weeks now, I want to make sure that we got something out today, even if it's something basic like this. So yeah, so a genuine review, well, uh, unboxing stroke overview of this little tinker kit. It cost £45, I think. You might be able to find it a little cheaper than I did. I got it on Prime, which is also a little used sometimes, a little bit extra uh, money. It should be around like £40, I would have thought. And it's designed for this. The reason is, on this, you've got four, five connections here. Ground, three volts, and then just three input and outputs, which doesn't give you a lot of options. So, I sort of programmed a little demo for us all on the mic a bit. So, generally, just using these sort of like connections across here, you just use like some crop clips, and you just connect it up. So, he's told me that this is a little demo where if you press A and B, you'll play a little tune. And I think it comes across, he said, with... Uh, Telling you what you need to do, so let's plug it in and find out. Is that the right reel? Probably not if it's not fitting. There you go, so let's have a quick look. A, yeah, plus B. Yeah, so let's press them together and we'll really be quiet while we listen to this. So it is playing a little game where you have to sort of chase that dot. Etc, etc. So yeah, this is not a review of this by any means, microbits will have been reviewed and unboxed many times. So let's just unplug that. So as I said, it only gives you a few input outputs, which is not much. So this allows you to expand it. So let's have what we get in the box. And we get the instruction manual, which is, and I've looked at this before, I've had a quick look before I've done this video. It's a little bit brief, it's lovely. I really like it. The, the diagrams are sweet. The connection showing what we need to do are gorgeous. It's just not much in there. Now obviously you can go online for things, but for a child just getting going, I think a little manual just in front of them would help an awful lot. And there is some missing, they don't cover every sensor, you can see how thin it is, they don't cover every sensor we have here. So let's have a look at what sensors we do get. We get, a little bit, we get a PIR sensor, infrared sensor to get sort of like motion, we get a little basic sort of leaf, key switch like that, we've got a simple PSO buzzer, beeper, and some three LEDs, a moisture sensor, whether that will corrode or not, I would suspect it might do, maybe, with a bit of electrolysis when it's in moisture in soil, it could well corrode, but as a sort of like a level sensor for maybe a bath, when the water comes up to it, work well for that, and last, uh, we've got some clicky buttons here, maybe create yourself a little mini sort of joint pad, we have the breakout board, we'll talk about that in a minute, and we have a little OLED screen, it's like 128 by 32 and R squared C connection. Lifting the box out underneath, we have what the couldn't fit in the top. We have a little potentiometer, it's not a rotary control, it's a little potentiometer, probably 10k. We have a small little servo motor, which is pretty cool, and a lot of these wires that have just three connections like that. The reason being, let's just have a look at the mic a bit and bring this back into shock a little bit more. Obviously you've only got them three basic connections there, zero to two. So there's not a lot you can do with them. So what the idea is, you plug it into here like this. And then this one is basically an expander. So now you've got access to all these input and outputs from zero to 16. So basically 16 input and outputs. And the idea being that you connect up your wire like that onto say zero there. And then maybe you get your PIR sensor. And plug that in like that. I think it only goes one way. And then you'll be able to address that in your cord and actually use the PIR sensor and then have many other sensors connected up as well. In fact, many, many more, which is pretty cool. It expands it beautifully. Plus, they all come in these little like modular jigsaw size pieces. So the idea is, I think, is you can sort of like put them together like that. Maybe on your sort of mat or something like that, and they look pretty cool. I mean, I think they do look really sweet. You could buy this entire kit 
for much cheaper you bought the individual parts but these all come ready made on these little boards and for children starting out I think it's pretty cool whether it's overpriced I'm not sure I was prepared to pay the money I was happy enough to do the amount that it was let's put that back so that's how you would use the vast amount of these sensors from the servo to all these with the exception being this little OLED screen this way I think it's let down a little bit in, in a couple of ways OLEDs, it's I2C, needs force connections, power and ground, and a clock and data. Whoops, and break it as well. Now you can see that with power and ground, it's, it's not going to go on any of these connections, and you can see these two blocks here. At the top of this one, it says I2C, and this one says SBI, so it's great. It's got these really good, useful uh, standard buses that we'd want on there, and that's great. And you can see it says ground, hopefully you can see ground voltage, uh, clock and data. So the idea is you just sort of like plug that on there and that's great. There's a bit of risk of bending that if you press on it and also if you had another I2C device that was similar in format to this, where are you going to put it? Get it into these two other rows. So you can have up to three I2C, three, the three rows, three I2C devices can go on there. But where would you put your second device? It's awkward. What you want is a wire coming off here, like a breakout wire. And you don't get it. These are all three connection wires. All of them. I had to make up this little wire myself for my son. And that will just plug in there like that. And then you can plug your screen in there. Like that. And then you've brought it away from the main board. Why did it include something like that? I don't know. I'd wanted, I would have wanted three of these wires included in that. And preferably maybe even a five row, is it six or six connector here for the SBI? Something. Also, the second thing I sit down with the OLED screen is in the booklet, and this is one of the most exciting things. Kids want to play games, want to see the really nice graphics on these screens. Because the original micro bit only has a five by five matrix, so very low resolution. I mean this is not high resolution, but it's much higher than five by five. So you can display some really cool stuff, even uh, create proper games on this using the micro bit. But there isn't one mention of it, let, let alone an actual project to do in this booklet. No mention how you would do that. So for a child, it's, it's just not there out of the box. Yes, you've got the tinkacademy.com slash micro bit website you can go to. I haven't looked, but I would hope, I would definitely hope there is a project involving this on there. But I would have liked it to have just been out of the box. I think this manual should have covered one simple project for every one of the sensors and inputs and outputs in this kit, but it doesn't. So although I think it's really good, I think just a little bit more pennies spent on a slightly thicker manual. I know everything's online these days, but I think, oh, certainly for my son as well, he sat down there reading this, looking at it. And that's what I think a lot of children would do, even with the internet. It can be easier to see the project laid out on here and what you need to do. Maybe then with a QR code or something you can scan to actually uh, go to the website for the code that you need, something like that. So I think that was kind of missing a trick as well as not having extra connection wires. Apart from that, we haven't used it extensively yet. So apart from that though, I think it is pretty good. It will be maybe in the future a proper review to come. We'll do maybe a practice project using definitely. I want to get this thing up and going and see what it does along with my son he's excited to get that going as well so that's a quick intro and unboxing of this and you can see I did not mention these where you get a battery pack so you can plug it into the actual battery connection of the uh, micro bit which will be there etc and you get your usual USB cable as well anyway so that's that so I hope you like that if you did give it like the thumbs up sort of stuff and if you could subscribe that would be really cool to get the channel going even more and if you want to patronise me, or patronise me, I never quite work out which one it is, then please see the link down below, and uh, that would be really grateful. That would be brilliant, thank you. So patronise me if you want down below, links down below. If you don't want to, that's cool, just keep watching the videos. That would be absolutely fantastic. Again, big thank you for watching. Without, the, without viewers, I wouldn't do any of this, or anywhere near as much as I do. I actually do it because I enjoy people watching the sharing that I do. So thank you very, very much for watching. Until next time, catch you later.